put an eye, you know, a bunch of uh, anatomy uh, drawings, or I mean photographs, that I took of horses and uh, their head, their muscles of their head and stuff like that. Uh, and then a bunch of uh, eyes that uh, I took off the web. So I'm going to use these uh, to help me get this eye perfect. Well, better. <laughs> they get this emotional fold above their eye. And uh, I'm trying to get that. I'm going to use my silicone tool that no one can get anymore, I'm sorry to say. Because the uh, lady retired from making them. And she made them all by hand. I guess the key is just not to over exaggerate just be very subtle in my uh, approach to the eye and it just this is the lighter fluid I'm using here takes out the roughness that was there. Now I got a sponge that you can buy for cleaning your dishes. And what I'm going to use is this part of it. I cut the sponge so I've got a small workable uh, piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, lighter fluid on it. And I'm just going to hit the uh, horse to smooth them out a little bit. It's kind of like the final thing I do. I don't want to make it completely smooth. I still want it to look sculptural. But I want to get it smoother than what it is right now. The uh, smoother it is, the better the texture, or the better the uh, patina will look when it's colored. I thought about selling uh, the uh, horse itself by itself, because it's good enough that it would look, you know, really good. But I sort of decided against it. Alright, I got the clay tilted so I can see areas that I can't see with it sitting upright. And uh, a lot of times there'll be big gaps in the clay, things that uh, aren't right. And I gotta fix them when I get at a different angle and I can see things I can't see normally. Now, whether it's actually seen 
in the casting makes no difference to me. I want it to be right all over the place, not just in with one view. It's like when you take a piece like this outside, you'll suddenly see things that you didn't see under a single light. Now I got this horse done. Now I'm going to reunite the uh, warrior with the, uh, the clay. I'll be right back. Like I said, I'll make all the uh, connections, and uh, it's going to look just fine. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way and bring in the other horse and rider and work on that for a while. First, I think I'll work on the horse, and then I'll graduate up to the gentleman on the horseback. I gotta go to work on my uh, DVD since this isn't going to the foundry until next week. Uh, I've got a couple of days to work on this yet, and uh, it won't take long to get her done. But uh, I've got to get that uh, instructional DVD done, and uh, so I'm gonna go work on that for a couple hours before I fix dinner. That's the clay. It's the uh, NSP. Let me show you the clay label. NSP Soft. And now I put it underneath my 100 watt bulb in my little bucket for doing uh, clay for keeping it soft. And I'll have it all ready for tomorrow. Yeah. We'll do with this one tomorrow, and uh, once that clay's soft, and I've got a little more clay to work with. All right, good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.